simple as waking us up. You put us to sleep last night, and there are a lot, Lord, who did not see daylight. But here we are on bending knees. We are able to give you thanks and to give you praise. Father, we come asking that you would be our provider. Provide for us this day. Food, clothing, and shelter. There are many that do not have, Lord. And help us who do, that we would be willing to share. Help us, Lord, to share our love. Help us to be kind, like Jesus. Oh, Father, you give us your Son who died on Calvary to save us from our sins. Lord, let's give you all the praise, all the honor, what is really due unto your most holy name. Oh, Father, we cannot give you enough thanks and praise. We thank you for the Zoom platform, Lord, and all those who help to make it what it is a prayer meeting. Oh, Father, we thank you for Brother Dawkins and Sister Marissa and Brother Thompson and all those who sing the songs of Zion. And there will be some, yes, Lord, there will be some praise and worship up in here later, Lord, because there's so much we want to thank you and praise you for. We come now, Lord, asking that you would be with those that are sick and shattered. And be with those who are grieving lost ones, Lord. Father, we come praying for those marriages that are on the rock. We mm. come praying, Lord, for the widows. We come praying for the orphans, Lord. Oh, Father, also remember the divorcees. Mm -hmm. And Lord, remember the children. Remember my okay. children, Lord, for each and every member on this song. We pray for the children. Lord, we pray for the schools that they attend sometime face to face. The teachers, oh Lord, give them patience to deal with our children. And Father, we just want to give you all the thanks and all the praise. And may we receive a blessing. In Jesus' name Amen. I pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good Must morning. Jesus be the cross alone and all the world go free. No, there's the cross for everyone and there's the cross for me. Heavenly Father, in the precious <laughs> name of Jesus, we, your children, come before you this morning, dear God. We come seeking a blessing from you. But as we come this morning, dear Father, we <clears throat> thank you for your grace and your mercies that you have extended unto us and your protection over us through the dark watches of the night as we slept, dear Lord. You send our guardian angels to stand guard and to protect us, to protect our home. And at the right time that you see fit, Lord, you touch us and you woke us up this morning. And you give us this opportunity whereby we can come before you this morning in prayer meeting. Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise, honor and glory this morning. Because we know it's nothing that we have done to deserve your love. But it's through your grace and your mercy and your love for us that you have brought us thus far. As we come this morning, Father, we ask forgiveness of our sins, cleansing from all unrighteousness. Lord, our transgressions, our iniquities, dear God. Father, the sins that we have committed against you, against our fellow man, the ones we realize and the ones we don't realize, and even the ones we even forget to ask forgiveness of, we ask the old Lord to forgive us and bring us up on higher ground this morning. 
As we come before you, we ask for a new and a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit upon our lives this morning, dear God. We ask you to draw us closer to you with the cords of love that will not break asunder. Father, whatever time we need you, it is now. We realize that time is running out and only what is done for you will last, Father. Help us to make our calling and election sure. As we come before you, Father, I bring every person, every home that is represented on this prayer line this morning. I pray, oh God, that you will put your walls of protection around each home. And as you, as the Holy Spirit go into those homes, I ask you, oh Lord, to touch every person in those homes and draw them closer to you. Father, I ask this morning for a special blessing on our families. Father, especially our children. Lord, some of them have gone astray and doing their own things. But Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you this morning to bring them back into your fold of safety before it's a time and a day ever too late. Lord, we ask you to save our children because you promised us that and save them for your eternal kingdom. Father, that when that banquet table is spread, that all of them will be seated, all our family members will be seated around that table. There will not be an empty space that someone else will take their space, but they will take their own space around that table to fellowship with you. Father, this morning, I ask you, O oh Lord, to be very near to us this day. Help us that we will put our hands in yours and allow you to lead and direct our life. I bring to you this morning, Father, those who are on their beds of affliction. You know everything about them. You, I ask you to touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet and let your will be done in their bodies and in their lives. Draw them closer to you, Father, this morning. Those who are bereaved this morning, dear God, I ask you to give them the comfort that they stand in need of. Help them to recognize that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal, and that you are a God who is in charge. You know the best, and you have never lost a battle. So help them to put their faith, their trust in you and hold on to your unchanging hand. Father, take control of this prayer meeting this morning. And as we come to you, lift us a little higher this morning, dear God. Help us that our experience would be one that we have never experienced before. This morning, we lift you up. We praise your holy name. We worship you this morning, dear God. We adore you. We love you because you are our father. You are our provider. You are our source of strength. Without you, we can do nothing. Without you, Father, we will be drifting and tossing to and fro as a boat without a sail. But with you in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing and answering our prayers this morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Lord, I thank you for blessing this team and that you will bring us together each morning as we come to pray and to lift you up. Thank you for hearing and answering us. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you for those prayers. Uh, I feel the movement of the Holy Spirit as you pray this morning. And um, just want to say that we should be having Pastor Jeremy on this morning, but last night he called to say that he was not feeling well, not sure. If make it this morning, so we want to 
for Pastor Arnell and is but we'll go on. It's prayer meeting, okay? So definitely we will go on and we will pray. Every morning I pray, I play the song, I will go. I'll go. Good morning. I read for you from Bullen's um, devotional, What's My Purpose? And I said that each one of us, we're born with a purpose. It's very important that we discover that purpose. And not only so that that purpose, fulfilling that purpose requires dedication, requires energy. I want you to share with me this morning, how is God using you to fulfill action that he has purpose you for? So let's take a few minutes and a few of you will get the opportunity to share before we go back to prayer this morning. How is it that God is using you fulfilling your mission. It's sharing time. Good morning. Morning. Ella Dawkins, God is awesome. When you made that statement this morning, you asked a question this morning. It took me back to um, the situation I had last night. It was a few months ago. I went to, my, my daughter took me to Manicure. And there was a, fa the family that we went to, um, the lady, her father was ill. Mm -hmm. And um, her, his wife, she just, she was a, she was having chemo um, treatment and she's trying to recover. And she said, mom, because I asked her how she was doing and everything else. And she said, mom, I'm right here just doing chemo. And now my husband's in the room there and um, he's not, he, 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 he's barely eating and um, his eyesight is going. He said, we had a doctor come to the house and he said that the diabetes are under control. So I encouraged her. I said, mom, you just got to pray and hold the faith. I said, hold the faith, the faith with you. We'll pray. I'll pray with you for you. And um, we, um, we, we left and then we went, I went back another time and she said that, do you know when you left, my daddy was um, the younger lady who did my Monica, she said, my daddy was in hospital, he had COVID. He said, and he's right inside there and he can't see his but wife said, you know, every time, I, everything he wants, he'd call me because he can't see. I had to take him to do his bodily whatever and everything, you know. I said, mom, you just got to keep the faith and I continue trying to encourage her. Mm -hmm. And I said, just trust God, it doesn't God can do. And, you know, I said, we continue to pray, just have the faith. When I went there last night, I said, the gentleman standing up. I said to his, his daughter, I said, um, is that dad? She said, yes. I said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And that's mm -hmm. the greatest name ever. He said, mom, that's my favorite voice. And this mm -hmm. mom standing up to his expecting son-in-law and showing him the words in the Bible and encouraging him. Mm -hmm. I said, what a mighty God we serve. Because I realized that my purpose is to encourage people and mm -hmm. to point them to Jesus and have them and encourage them to exercise their faith in God and to reintroduce mm -hmm. them to the man called Christ Jesus. Amen. And sometimes we think uh, we do things and don't realize because we do it so effortlessly that mm -hmm. that is our purpose. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God. And thank God for you, El Dawkins, for pointing out to us mm -hmm. a lot that we have a purpose on this earth. And anything that we do in the honor and glory of God, and we do it effortlessly if that's for God. So thank you so much for that encouraging mm. um, point for me this morning. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else is sharing? Good morning, Saints. Good morning, Good morning everyone. How y'all doing? Um, last week, last week, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll talk about this infection I have like going through my body. And I used I used to go to get some some medicine from the doctor, but my husband told me 
not to go. They use the natural stuff. So I keep on using the lime juice, but I wasn't drinking it as often as I should. And I start having pains in my, some pains coming in the back of my head and my eyes. And the, like cold coming out, you know, out my eye. I was feeding her. She is three. She seen me. My hand always began to shake like when I hold the plate when I feed her. So she grabbed my hand. So I, took, I said, Lord, I don't know what's going on. I drink lime juice, but the lime, I wasn't drinking it as much. So I usually drink like a quarter cup, three times a day. Um, it went on. So I said to myself, I said, Lord, I don't have any finance to go to the doctor. And I find that when I say I don't have any finance, my God works in a, in a marvelous way. Mm -hmm. So it went on. I keep on start doing the lime juice three days out of of the week or three days yeah three days every week every day and in that I take some charcoal um, baking soda and I put some of the lime juice in it and I put a little bit of olive oil and thank God I was feeling much better better from Saturday morning and up to now. I could say God has been good to me. He has brought me from has done for me. Amen. Amen. I thank you. You finish. Okay, thank you, Sister Smith, for sharing. And we'll continue to pray for you that God will, you know, anoint your body and give you that healing that you so much desire at this time. I think, Sister Vernell, your mic is open. Yes. Um, good morning once again. And truly, I want to give God thanks and praise for my space here this morning. And... My purpose here is to, you know, be a witness to people, um, no matter where I go, no matter where I am. Um, you know, like sometimes I would go out and like this last incident, I went in the store and a gentleman, you know, he said to me, he said, um, miss, you look so different. You're, you're different. It's something about you. You know, your face is, is glowing. So he said, are you a Christian? I said, I tried my best to live the way, excuse me, the way that God wants me to live. So he said, I, really, he said, I can just tell, I can see you have a glow on your face. So I said, God, I don't only really want to look different, but I want to be the difference. I want to make the difference, you know, and even with um, some of my family members, you know, um, you know, I would always tell them, you know, they would say, well, oh, I'm not going to do this and I'm going to do that or nail why you did this or nail why you did that. I'm like, N you know, um, this is the way God wants us to be, you know, because some people think I am like, they say, nail, you, you know, you do too much for people, but I know this is the way God wants us to be. He wants us to be the difference. He wants us to go and make the difference among your fellow workers, co-workers, wherever we go in this world, we ought to make the difference, you know, and we ought to let our light shine, like the Bible said, we ought to let our light shine, that man may see our good work, and, you know, I always, you know, like when I go out there, I would always share the word, even if I just said, God bless you, or God loves you, I'm going to say something about Jesus, and, you know, that is my purpose, and also, 
you know, my thing is, my motto is taken from a, a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King. If I can help somebody as I travel alone, alone, then my living shall not be in vain. So I just want to continue to be a blessing to people, whether it be in words or deed, because that is the way God wants us to be. And mm -hmm. you know, that's my word for the morning. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take another one. Somebody else, mic was open, but I had to close it so you can take your opportunity. Yes, Sister Linden, just yesterday morning, I was saying I didn't hear your voice in a long time. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Linden. Good morning, good morning, good morning. morning. And I was sitting down here feeling heavy, feeling bubbly, feeling happy, feeling all sorts of emotions going on. Because there's so much things that is happening right now mm -hmm. um, um, among family and friends and everybody. But um, I'd just like to share you the you ask question, what is your purpose here? And God showed me my purpose. And I thank him for that. When I think about the two major accidents I was in, it was like the devil is trying to destroy me and God keeps stepping out for every trip. The mm -hmm. first time... A couple of years ago when I was unconscious for eight days, eight days, and God brought me back. Then a year ago, the same thing, the road traffic accident, I was saying, Lord, I may hurt in my head because I see you've got this. You've got this and you've proven yourself over and over again. And my purpose, the only reason why God allowed me, Andrea, to be alive is to be a testimony, to be a witness for him. That's my only purpose. Mm -hmm. and, and I realized that and you know we had a workshop on Thursday past I went to the workshop we and, and during the the um theory section they asked us it's nurses month this month in May and they asked the question um what do you like most about nursing about your your job as a nurse and my own, well, everybody else said, everybody said something else, but my own was the spiritual part of nursing. Mm -hmm. I have an opportunity to pray with people. I have an opportunity to encourage people. I have an opportunity to, 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 to be there for people who are hurting, people who are scared, mm -hmm. people who don't know if they can live to see tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and, 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 that was the, and the spiritual part was what I love about my, I mean, the, the, my job, Mm -hmm. Not not my job about my calling because I know mm -hmm. it's not a job. Listen, it's not a job, it's calling. Mm -hmm. And and so we had after after the theory, the theory part, we had to go to Elizabeth Estate and um do the practicum where we have the real patients and we just do our examination on the patient. And I didn't say anything to the woman about God. I didn't say anything, I don't know. But when I was finished examining her feet. And dealing with her, she said, woman of God, I can feel your, I can feel Jesus mm. in, I mean, in you. You are a woman of God. You're a woman of God. And I looked at her and I, honestly, I was surprised. But because mm. I was saying, even though I know everybody, I touch everything I do, I pray with them. I don't pray aloud all the time. Mm. And she was one of them I didn't pray with. But she just started saying in the, in the front of all the assessments and everybody else, and I just smiled. She said, girl, I could see Christ in you. I could see the way you touched me, the, the, the words you spoke, the, 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 the way you spoke it. I, Jesus is, is, is in you. And I mm. said, I just was telling the people in the practical part three hours ago that this is the part I love most about my, 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 my calling because nursing is not a job. And when yesterday, Basil with the sore, the, the sore thing that was on the conference had yesterday, yeah. he talked about um, um, I went in the one with, um, with, with, with Pastor Starup, and he talked about our job is only, and I always tell people this, our mm -hmm. job only use nursing to pay my bills. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is not a job. It's, it, 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 it's a calling. It's a ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, 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 and that's how I see it. And, and so I am so happy that even at work, we had a troublesome client. I had to write, um, 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 I'm so sad, uh, a letter on the one of the staff, but I sat down with her before I wrote it. I said, I'm only doing the ministries, um, 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 what they require, but I don't want to do this, but this, I, I have to. But after I spoke to her, we prayed together. And then I said, you know something, the devil is talking after you. 
The devil wants to destroy you. And that is why you did what you did. This is it. Your, the staff is not your issue. Your issue is Satan. The devil is mm. trying to destroy you. God got a calling on your life. That woman who, the care, who carried on and, 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 and I mean, it was so bad that we had to write on her. The woman bristled crying with me in mm. the office. She just bristled crying. And she said, Linda, I just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm saying, God, look, you're working again. You're working mm -hmm. again. And everything, we must make an effort to be a witness for Christ in everything. Mm -hmm. That is to have the situations, whether it appeared good or yeah. bad. But only, mm -hmm. only alive to be a witness for Jesus. That's our only purpose. Otherwise, we ain't no good. We ain't mm -hmm. So, I, God, I just, just thank him for uh, using me. And mm -hmm. cover me, y'all. Pray, continue to pray for me that I will be faithful because I needed to say, hear him say, Well done, well done, like Amen. 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 We want to see, we want to be around that table when he comes. We want to see our, our family, our friends around that table, even our enemies around that table. Mm -hmm. But we need to be saved. So much trouble going on. We need to be saved, but we need to be a light for those who we come in contact with every single day because that's our only purpose of being alive. Amen. 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 Sister Beverly Baptist, I, I won't deny you. So um, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Let's listen to all that wonderful testimony and it lifts my spirit. Um, well, my life is like my life is to give. You know, I, I don't have much, but whatever I have. I always give and I, I pray about giving before I give. I don't just give, you know, sometimes I lay down in my bed and I say, um, my boss would send stuff to me and she said, Beth, give it to somebody. And, you know, and I say, Lord, I, I don't want to, you said you must give to those in need. So I want to give to those who need. I don't want to give to those who already have and no need. So I would lay down and, and I pray, I say, Lord, I have stuff on that I need to give them away, but I need to give it to someone who really need it. And the Lord would bring up that person in my mind, you know, and I would call and I would say, I would tell them and they say, oh, I was just, I was just asking a couple of people if they could help me to, uh, you know, if they know anyone or I have somebody who asked in for such and such and I was, you know, so I, uh, my, my blessing is, and, and God, because I do that, God is, will bless me back, you know, because sometimes I don't know where the next, next uh, way out, what I'm going to do with my bills. And when I look, someone called me and said, Beth, I have something for you, you know? So that's my living. And I make myself available for people. They call, Bev, you could do this for me. Bev, you could do that for me. I say, no problem. You know? I say, no problem. Bring it or I'll come by and I'll do that. That's, that's my life. And I enjoy doing that. You know? So that's me. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for all of you for your sharing. It was so encouraging sitting and listening and um, what God is doing in your life. We're going to go to prayer again, and I'm going to try the breakout rooms um, this morning. We have five rooms praying for family, and I'm going to ask Brother Allen to go into that room praying for the church and um, the spirituality of our membership. I'm going to ask Sister Callum to go into that room. Um, children, it's time for doing their BJC, BGCSC external exam. And this has been a really challenging year for teachers and students and school administration. So I want Sister Marissa to be in that room and praying for the sick and the grieving. That's room four. I want Sister McKenzie to be in that room. And the next room for personal challenges. You may have a personal challenge that you need um, to be prayed for. And Sister Leona Morris, I want you to be into that room. Now, these rooms are going to be self-assigned. I think the prompt is going to come up. And right beside it, you click join. Um, let me hope that that will work. If it doesn't work, we'll get back right in the space and 
we'll just pray. So Sister Brother Keon, give us that music of meditation and then we'll go straight into these prayer sessions. We're not hearing you, Brother Kian. I'll give you another few seconds to try again. If not, we'll just go right into prayer. Good morning. I'll sing a verse of my Jesus, I loved you for you, if it's okay. Okay, Sister Marissa. Sure, go ahead, Val. Thank you. Okay, great. Good. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee, all the follies of sin, I resign my gracious redeemer, my Savior. As thou art, if ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the rooms are open. 